Uh, just a reminder, first portion of this content is live, TV, radio, online. The second portion will be acquired with written word. We're in different rooms today, so TV, you're the room next to this, which is the Gold Salon, and then live radio, guys, you are the room beyond that, which is the Mars, okay, for breakouts afterwards. So we'll get on the way with head coach, Coach Smith, now to the weekend. Uh, it's Ken Healy, Rory Best captain, Tyke Furlong, James Ryan, Ian Henderson, Peter O'Mahony, Dan Levy, CJ Stander, Connor Murray, Johnny Sexton, Jacob Stockdale, Bundy Aki, Gary Ringrose, Keith Earls and Rob Carney. And the replacements are Sean Cronin, Jack McGrath, Andrew Porter, Devin Toner, Geordie Murphy, Kieran Marmion, Joey Carberry and Jordan Lama. So what's the lead of the cap like that again? Uh, yeah, it's been pretty good. Um, you know, I, I think there's, uh, there's a sense of anticipation, there's a sense of nervousness. Um, I, I think the, the magnitude of uh, what it's going to take to get us over the line is, is very much uppermost in the thinking at the same time. Um, there's been a, a good opportunity to, to relax a little bit um, and recover from, from what was a, a, pretty, uh, a pretty intense game against, uh, against Scotland. Is it possible to treat it like any other game that you win the sensations? I think we have as much as we can. Uh, it, it has been uh, a very similar uh, rhythm to our week and we probably don't want to break that rhythm up too much because it served us quite well so far. Um, I look, I'm not exactly sure what they were. I, I know there's a little bit of noise about them, but they're not directly relevant to us, to be honest. Um, I, I don't know what the specifics of them are, but uh, those words don't impact on how we play or, or, or how his team play, and, and that's our focus. Joe, what do you make of um, Eddie's team selection for the weekend? Uh, he's mixed it up a little bit. Uh, a few guys, I, I think the squad is very similar, but he, he's flicked a few guys from the bench into the starting lineup and, and vice versa. Um, yeah, it, it changes things a little bit. I think they've got a, a at the hub of the game, they've, they've got a Saracens combination. So Richard Wigglesworth and, um, and Owen Farrell are, are very used to playing with each other. So I think that smooths the path a little bit for Owen Farrell having to adjust from 12 to 10 because the responsibilities are quite a, quite a bit different. Um, ben Teo obviously is really well known to us, particularly the, the Leinster cohort in the team. So we know what he brings and, and, uh, and Jonathan Joseph is, is a, a freakishly talented athlete that he's going to be a handful. So, you know, that inside line, uh, front row changes, obviously with, um, with uh, Kyle Sinclair coming in there, that's a bit of a change up. He's, he's dynamic. Um, and I, I guess that's a, that's a bit of a change to, to you know, the solidity and, and strength and experience that Dan Cole brings there. Uh, obviously, a couple of enforced changes with Courtney Laws out, Nathan Hughes out, so Simmons in. Um, you know, none of that is, is too unexpected. Joe, why did you come on for Ian Henderson? Um, I, I think it was part of a, a bit of a plan over the, these two games. That, that we would mix that selection up. Uh, we almost did it the other way, to be honest, um, because James Ryan uh, had, had a, a very big game against Scotland and we thought he, he might benefit from coming off the bench and, and getting a little less time. But we could still manage that with, with Dev potentially anyway. And uh, Ian has got a little bit of time under his belt now after having a week, uh, couple of weeks off. So we, we think he's probably progressed a little bit further and is, is more ready to go. Um, just back to those comments by, by Eddie Jones, obviously you said it won't affect how you play. Do you think uh, unwelcome distractions by Josh can, can hinder a uh, team's preparation in a, in a build up to a big game like this? I, I don't think so, to be honest. Um, I know it, it, it's probably at the stage of, of being boring. Uh, which you know uh, we don't want to be described as, but uh, the bubble that does surround us out here, it does mean that we can fully focus on the job at hand, the task at hand, and, and not what some somebody might be saying about us. Joe, very assessment can affect the bubble. Were you surprised to see him involved in the yeah, look, that, that, that is a bit of a surprise. I'm sure that in retrospect, people are probably 
uh, thinking that it, it may, may not have been the best thing to do. But I, I know Māori's. I would have no hesitation in uh, standing by his integrity. I, I don't think it will uh, affect his decision making. And so, um, yeah, we'd, we'd still have faith in him as, as an official on Saturday. Joe, was it a bit of a risk? I suppose it's always a gamble as a coach picking a team, but um, Devin brings something different to Ian. So if you're chasing the game and maybe the ball carrying towards the end of it, maybe that's not something Devin does as well as Ian, or maybe they, they play a bit differently. So is it? Is it a risk starting Ian and keeping Devin in reserve? Uh, I don't think so. Um, you know, probably the risk, I would say, maybe goes the other way. Dev has called our line out for a long time. And, uh, you know, if you're chasing the game, you really need your line out ball. And that's a great thing for Dev to come on and provide for us. Uh, in this equivalent fixture last year, uh, Dev came off the bench for us and he finished off the game really strongly for us. So, you know, uh, it, there's always risks and it's about managing them and it's about calculating what's a lesser risk and, and also um, what's the greater opportunity and that, you know we'd probably err toward the greater opportunity and we we want to keep giving people opportunity. Peter what do you make of the changes to uh, being in team seven and all a lot in the, a lot in the pack I'm not sure if you've had time to assess it but if you have what do you think? Yeah, look, they have a quality squad we've seen that for a long time now and and as Joel said, they've 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 kind of mixed it up a little bit. Um, brought guys on off the bench, but it's as a whole the, the squad is there and, and they've quality across the board. So we do whatever 15 they were going to put up. It's going to be it's going to be a big challenge for us. Whatever 23 they put up is is a big challenge, and and that doesn't change with the the changes they brought in. I know that you're in a bubble and that maybe they're not particularly relevant when it comes to team selection and game plans or whatever, but. Do you take any extra motivation out of any Jones comments as a, as a player? Can you kind of trick yourself into motivating yourself with that kind of stuff, or how does it work? No, no I, I think you're you're certainly on the wrong you're on the wrong page if you're looking for stuff like that to motivate you. We've we've got a we've got a plan that we work through during the week. Um, we get through our work. We've plenty of stuff that motivates us and and, and and that gets us through gets us through games. But that kind of stuff certainly isn't one. Peter, can you just describe um, how? You you would feel joining a very exclusive list of players to have won if you want to start the Grand Slam for Ireland? Um, look, that's there for us the weekend, but you know, there's 80 minutes for us to go and, to go and perform, and, 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 and that's what we've, we've, we've talked about all week is, is our performance in the 80 minutes, and, and what goes after that goes after that, but you know, it's, it's going to be a huge task for us, and, and that's what we're firmly, firmly focused on. Look, we've got to go and manage the 80 minutes. That's what we've got to go and do. We've got to go as uh, as well as we can treat it. It's 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 another Six Nations game. You know, we've had four huge tests um, that we've that we've got through the other side, and we've got 80 minutes now to to perform at the weekend. And it it's it's no different to any of those other four. We, you know, it's it's almost cup rugby the way we've treated it, and and you know, this is our final. Joe, those who were involved in 2009, have they said much during the week about just coping with that on the day? Have they been helpful about sharing their experiences? No, I, I don't think they've mentioned it, to be honest. I, I think uh, what Pete's saying is it is just the focus on, on this week and, and the, the actual performance. We haven't talked about you know, how we might feel afterwards or, or, or what it means because you almost don't dare. You, you don't dare to dream about what it might mean at the end of things or, or uh, what the occasion may, may be. A number of our players have been to Twickenham. They, they know how raucous it is. Um, you know, 80,000 people make a lot of noise. But what we do know is that there's going to be a good uh, number of Irish supporters there and, and that we're going to get some, some really good support. And that will spur us on because it has done for particularly the last three weeks playing at home and uh, you know that that's what we're focused on what what we can actually manage on the pitch how spurred we will be by the environment um, but not distracted by it. Last couple. Joe, how close do you think that this team is to playing at its best? Uh, that's an incredibly fickle question and fickle response probably because nothing's linear. You could be at your best to score a fantastic try and then somebody slips in the defensive system or somebody drops a ball and they kick it through and they score back and suddenly you're described to be at your sloppy worst. 
that's how fickle the game is. And so what you try to do is you manage as best you can to compile a whole lot of best moments and have as few of those slip-ups or, or sloppy moments as possible. And so the, to get the best, you, you're just trying to, to do what you can at the, at the task that you're, uh, you're prepared for. And inevitably, because there are so many variables in a rugby game, there are 31 humans on the pitch, and um, then there's an odd-shaped ball, and then there's environmental conditions, and then there's pressure and anxiety, and, and then you expect perfection, or you hope for per perfection. And, and while that may be the, the end goal, you know that it's not realistic, that there's going to be times where, where you make an error and you're under huge pressure, and it's really how you convert your best moments and how well you cope in those moments that you're going to be under the most pressure. Joe, obviously, um, like you said, you don't want to be branded as boring, but playing boring rugby, if that's what it takes to win a Grand Slam, it's worth it, isn't it? Sure. If it's a boring game at the weekend, then you win. I don't think, Pete, myself, I don't think any of the team would care if it was 3-0. You know? Uh, I, I, I don't think that w we would be uninspired by a 3-0 victory because we know what's at stake and, and what's at stake is, is a, a fantastic opportunity to not, not just achieve a grand slam but to, to go uh, you know, a, a year unbeaten. We wouldn't have dreamed of that this time last year. Uh, this time last year we were scrambling around. We thought Connor was going to play on the Thursday and Kieran Marmion came in and did a superb job. Jared Payne played the only game he played in the Six Nations in that game after having trained on the Thursday. You know, I, I think you know, that character reference that we have from that group has, has helped us build from there on. And um, you know, ho hopefully we can continue to build on that and, and that would be special for us in, in all sorts of ways because of the, the championship and, and what is at stake. Yeah, we all do. I think. I think. I think the, the 23 guys who who have been lucky enough selected know that it's it's got to be it's got to be your best performance. You know, um, it's we were in their position before and it's it's an easy place to get motiv motivated in and 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 you know backs to the wall stuff for them and and they're going to come hard at us we know that so we know how how tough it's going to be and 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 as i said it's it's going to have to be, be be our best performance of the tournament so far i reckon okay guys sorry we're going to have to keep going